first introduced back in 2014 as the FZ09, Yamaha's tantalizing triple pretty much set the bar nine years ago when it came to riding naked. Now known as the MT-09, this wolf in sheep's clothing has undergone some impressive refining over the years, especially when you consider that it runs with motorcycles such as Triumph Street Triple R's and Kawasaki's Z900. Those refinements have included the addition of a very nice, fully adjustable fork up front and an Olin shock out back. Not to mention a new aluminum frame showed up a while back, bolted to a punched out engine now displacing 890 cc's, made it to a slipper clutch tranny, and of course now you've got the addition of many electronic rider aids thanks to the 6-axis IMU, plus the must-have color TFT dash, forged aluminum wheels, and LED projector headlight. All in all, a very impressive high-tech, hyper-naked sports bike. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here now is this week's guest road tester, Cameron Crair. So Cameron, I know that you've been getting into the sport recently with two adventure motorcycles you've gone through now, and I thought, wow, let's just try something completely different. How about Hyper Naked uh, 900cc triple motorcycle? What was your first impression? Uh, first impression on this was, holy cow, that's one heck of a motor. <laughs> uh, it, it, when you're in sport mode or one, mode one for the riding modes, it has quite, enough, quite literally enough power to rip your arms clean out of the sockets. <laughs> it's impressive. Yeah, it is. So let's, let's break it down. Um, first of all, first impression, just as you approach the motorcycle, what did you think about the fit, the finish, the look of the bike? Well, I mean, I've been like a Honda fanboy as long as I can remember because of the uh, fit and finish on those is so good. But I walked up to this and I was like, and, wow, this is phenomenal. Like all the buttons, they feel really great. The dash, even like thanks to the fuel filler cap, it's very clean through and through. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you threw a leg over, you fired it up and 900cc, they've done some revisions this year in the engine. They've uh, tuned it a little bit different, larger displacement. You fired it up, what did you think of the triple? It's a great noise. Uh, having previously come from a parallel twin and a V-twin, it's, it's a lot different. It's got a lot of character to it, I've found. Mm -hmm. uh, especially cruising down these backcountry roads, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. When you're in like ride modes one and two, it feels dangerously fast almost. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but then you get into mode three or especially into mode four, mm -hmm. and it's as quiet and as easy to ride as a 250. Great for if it's you know raining out or around here, the roads are all covered in dust and gravel. So yeah. very chill to ride. What was the riding experience like for you in terms of just the comfort, uh, the fitment? Um, I was commenting that it's just seems to have so much leg room, but just overall, what was it like to fit? Yeah, so exactly like you said, there is a surprising amount of leg room for, because you think, especially coming from adventure bikes, I was thinking, okay, this is gonna be a naked bike. I'm gonna be hunched up on it being, you know, six feet tall, but no, it was incredibly comfortable. Like I feel even if you're like 6'2", six 6'3", six you could comfortably sit on this bike. Right. Um, how did you find the mirrors? And the, you mentioned the instrument pod. Um, what did you think of that? I mean, mirrors, you got, lots to see. I mean, this thing's so fast, you don't really have to worry about what's behind you. Uh, but the dash, super informative. Uh, I love being able to go into the menu and switch around all the controls, the traction control, play around with the uh, shift indicator. It's got, yeah, everything you need to make the bike perfect for your personal, uh, personal preferences. There's no fairing, it's a naked bike. How did you, how did you feel about the, the wind protection? Uh, I'm used to bikes with giant windscreens in front of you, so there was a fair bit of wind, but honestly it was nowhere near as uh, much as I was expecting. Right. Who's gonna like this bike? Honestly, I think this bike is aimed squarely at me. Uh, I'm a fairly new rider, but I've been riding a few years, a little bit more experience than on my belt, looking to graduate out of the you know, 300s or 400s, smaller learner bikes. So it's going to be faster, more aggressive, more fun, room to grow into, yeah. but also has all the bells and whistles. Like this has cruise control, different rider modes, all the fun stuff. So naked, we think of them as being kind of all rounders, uh, good for commuting, good for weekends up to the cottage, uh, maybe even longer trips if you put some bags on it. What do you think? Is this uh, an all rounder? Could you see yourself taking a trip on it? 
Yeah, absolutely. I think it's very much so an all-rounder. I mean, I come from adventure bikes, which are also seen as quite an all-rounder. So. Yeah. so are you saying maybe you might just sort of park the adventure thing for a while and consider going naked? I'm saying <laughs> it's certainly tempting. It's certainly <laughs> tempting. Definitely want to move up to the motor, though. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, well, great job today. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.